Hello YouTubers, my name is X Factor. Welcome to the Battlefield 4 TV Missile Guide. We're going to talk about the two separate ranges. In camera, 6.5 seconds or 931 meters. But it doesn't stop just there. You can control it while in camera, but once it drops out of camera, you get an additional 75 to 100 meters and three quarters a second. So if you're lined up properly on your target and it goes out of camera, it will still hit as long as it's within that additional range. Now let's talk about exiting out of TV missiles, and there's two reasons to do this. Number one, you missed your target, whether it's land, air, or sea. The last thing you want to do is be in that vulnerable screen of the guided TV missile. But what happens to that TV missile? It's going to continue on its path until it runs its course, or it hits something. It still does damage if it hits something. So let's utilize that for increasing our DPS. So obviously, Queek might be are you disabled he might be in a scrap with another boat and obviously the closer you get the easier this is but if they get them disabled you know you've got time for that TV to fly so we're gonna shoot at Queek spam the exit vehicle key and there you have it it damages him and now he's immobilized remember this is a private server so it's not gonna show that so what does that allow us to do as well so not only are we out of that TV missile and can shoot another one potentially but we can go back to our primary, whether it's a 25 millimeter burst, 30, or regular 25, and start damaging them as well. So let's uh, engage another target as we get our TV missiles back, just waiting on that. And the first one's going to disable them. Exit out. Exit out. And just that quick, you can kill an attack boat. And remember, the first one will always disable even if they have a repair person on back if you increase your dps that quick they are going to die they can't survive that quick dps the aps cannot block this but they can shoot down your tv missile believe it or not and you could do that with the primary either 25 millimeter burst or 25s or 30. so let's show this one last time on quick who's uh doing 360s and this time we're just going to utilize TV burst TV. So we're going to go to TV. All right, I'm going to keep moving here. Drift into it. Burst. And then go to the TV. And either dumb fire it or just let it rock if he's close. It's all about that burst fire up close because then there is no counter. If you pop your APS and they have Zunis and 30s, there is no chance they're going to kill you. Let's talk about a couple things you can do to help control the entire map, keep the attack boats, ribs, and aircraft in check. First and foremost, whether you're on next-gen console or PC, you can toggle the zoom level of your mini-map. And for PC users, you can make a keybind. Mine's a tilt wheel on my mouse, so whenever I'm in the boat, I like to maximize that distance. So 150 meters. The second thing is, you can put the major map on there. So either Queek is in the attack boat shooting, or he's spotted so he's gonna show up whether he's just shooting his primary or he's spotted that's a big advantage so compare this look right I don't know how far away he is to this look now I definitely know so as always try to shoot your TVs undercover now the minimap zoomed out it also gives me help to tell me where I'm at Queek are you disabled immobilized immobilized because we're in a private server it's not gonna show you damage and it's not going to show you the immobilization, basically. So use that verticality to get those off. But remember, this is only going to do max 80 damage. It's going to mobilize him. But if he's got a repairer, he'll be quickly on his way. But if you see a jet coming in on a stray front, or you're a little bit closer and you can tell that that boat is taking some heat, that's when you might want to give yourself a nice distanced TV to really help and the attack boats run. Now let's talk about leading your target with the TV missile. Even if you're engaged with the primary, the last thing you want to do is start your TV when you're on top of them. You actually want to put it in front of them. And the sweet spot is the back part of the hull, where the repair crew could be and the gunners. So what you want to do is you actually want to start your TV missile when you have a proper lead. And depending on the distance, they're going to walk right into it. Back part of the hull. He's now immobilized, a sitting duck. You can quickly switch over to your primary or the secondary TV, kill it mid-flight, and finish the job. Now let's talk about shooting TVs down. Of course, you can use the 25, 30, or the burst. It's your preference. Go ahead, quick, give a shot. And this will be more difficult at higher angles. So if this is a cross-map shot, a top-down attack, go ahead, quick, shoot one more. 
it will be much harder. And you see, you want to track that or meet it in its path. So let's say I was tracking that last one. It's much easier to say, oh, that's going to hit this spot right here. Just start spamming your burst properly. Again, you can blow it up till it gets about right here without taking any damage. Any closer, you're going to take reduced damage, which may or may not be enough to give you a mobility issue. TV missiles can inflict massive damage on attack helicopters, little birds, and jets. 81 to be exact, allowing you to use your primary to quickly finish them off. And there's a couple keys. First, you want to acquire the target before you have to pop APS. Because once you pop APS, you're going to have to shoot through that. Don't lead them. Put your crosshair right on the cockpit and then micro-adjust to the cockpit if you have to. Some of the wings don't exactly have the best hit marker, so even though you might hit it, it's probably not going to register. So try to acquire the target. You hear the APS go there before he started hitting me, and that does the trick. And then if you have to adjust, try to wait to the last second and then lead the target. Ow. When targeting little birds, it's important to shoot to kill, meaning that you got to make sure you can finish the kill. Either they're smoking or they've got a double rep crew and you just hit them for 81 and they're just going to skirt away unharmed. So if they're in range, you can hit them with the TV, then follow up with primary very quickly. But you got to remember, your TVs have very lengthy reloads once you shoot the initial two. Bigger threats can appear, such as attack boats, a jet, or anything else that may be on the map. But if you've got those threats taken care of, they're bottled up, that's when you can start taking shots at the little birds. And remember, you got to kind of predict where they're going to go. It's about leading them and then violent swings to try to bring it back to the helicopter. Not very often are you going to see a little bird sitting still. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you learned something, don't forget the thumbs up and happy hunting with the TVs.